Hi, welcome. So today I have the um, unit two paper for biology. Okay, give me a second. Okay, I have the unit two paper for biology. Um, October 2024 session. And I'm gonna go through it with you. So, um, I think, you know, what's better than me just like posting the whole past paper is if I went ahead and if I just solved like separate questions and like posted them separately into a playlist so that you guys can just, you don't have to like waste your time trying to find which question you want. So yeah, this is going to be the first part. Um, It's going to be questions one to three. So yeah, let's start. So question one, the diagram shows an incomplete plant cell, incomplete plant cell, drawn by a student. So it says label the tonoplast on the diagram. As we know, this over here is the tonoplast, and I have labeled it right over there. Second part asks us to draw and label a nucleolus in the plant cell. So this over here is the nucleus in the plant cell, and this is the nucleolus. Okay. So it says complete the table to show which of these structures would be present or absent in plant leaf cells. So we know that plant leaf cells, they do contain an amyloplast, they do contain chloroplast, they do contain Golgi apparatus, and they do contain plasma, plasmodesmata. So they're all going to be ticked, okay? Great. So the photograph shows a lysosome as seen using an electron microscope. So it says calculate the actual width x to y of this lysosome in micrometers. Let me just, you know, double that. So it also says give your answer to two decimal places. It's extremely important to remember what they want, like what form they want us, what form they want our answer to be in. So I used the ruler right over here, you know. <laughs> Use your own ruler, guys. Come on. Uh, align it with the line here. This is 1, 2, 3, and then 3.3. Um, measure it out with your ruler. And then we have to convert. So from centimeter to, oops, centimeter to micrometer, as you can see, you multiply by 10,000, I believe. Yep. And then um, we just, I got 33,000 micrometers, so 33,000 divided by 250,000, um, because that's magnification, gives me 0 0.32, which equals to 1, 0 0.13. Uh, if I'm rushing through this, I'm sorry, but, you know, let's lock in and let's just stay awake and get through it. Question two, so we have diatoms. They are single celled organisms and they are important for many ocean food chains great so the photograph shows a diatom as seen using a scanning electron microscope okay so diatoms contain a nucleus mitochondria and chloroplasts state the domain which contains diatoms that's going to be eukarya so the nucleus in the diatom contains dna so name two processes that take place in the nucleus of a diatom or just basically two processes that take place within a nucleus. So we know that, you know, DNA replication occurs. Uh, we also have production of the mRNA and um, DNA synthesis. But there are like a few other more. But yeah, this is some that I remembered and I wrote down about it. <clears throat> so it is predicted that diatom populations will decrease in number due to global warming. Scientists have suggested that this will cause a decrease in ocean biodiversity. Describe how a decrease in biodiversity within an ocean habitat could be determined. So this kind of question is important to remember. I'm just going to add a star over here so that you guys know you know, like, how to answer this question. For this question, it's extremely important. Like, when it comes to biodiversity in general, they're going to ask this question again and again. They're going to repeat this question almost every year. So you need to have an outline of an answer that you can memorize. So And you can use, like, a model answer that you can memorize 
and use anytime it comes up in the exam. This helped me out so much. Like, it saved me so much time when I was doing my exams. Like, I didn't have to, you know, waste time in the exam thinking of an answer. Like, I had it memorized, and I'd write down the points, and I'd just continue the next question. So, yeah, this is what I wrote. This is my answer. It's You can add in some stuff. You can remove some stuff. But, yeah, I basically wrote that first. We count the number of different species within the ocean habitat right that's simple enough then we count the number of individuals in each species so first we have uh the number of species second we have the different individuals within a species like how many individuals does one species contain basically and then we calculate the index of biodiversity which the formula is right over here it is the number of species divided by the number of individuals within a species then after this we're going to assess the genetic biodiversity again genetic just to remind you genetic biodiversity is the um diversity of alleles and genes in the genome so we can calculate the heterozygosity index to assess the genetic diversity since you know it has to do with the alleles and we know that alleles can be hetero the same no actually sorry hetero is different and homo is the same um yeah <laughs> this is how we can measure it out and then lastly we're going to compare the values with last year's values to see if there has been a decrease decrease because the question mentioned how we can check if there has been a decrease Okay, moving on. Question three. The photograph shows a Javanese edelweiss plant. This plant is endemic to Indonesia. State what is meant by the term endemic. I want you to remember this as well. It's a definition which pops up almost every other year. So it is endemic means basically it's a species which is only found in one area. So a species is found, sorry, a species which is found in only one area. endemic <laughs> okay moving on so a student used a microscope and a graticule to view pollen grain from this plant let me go ahead and just you know delete that real quick so that i can help you guys out understand this question okay gonna make it very easy and very simple to understand okay so 100 eyepiece graticule divisions is 0 0.1 millimeters okay here 100 is 0 0.1 so 100 basically means from here all the way to the end this right here is a hundred graticule divisions and this whole this whole thing that we, this line that we just drew is 0 0.1 millimeters and we want to find the length of the pollen grain so i use the same thing so after that you know I basically went ahead and counted just the area that's right over here, uh, which was, you know, 23 divisions right here. 20, 21, 22, 23, right? 23 divisions. So I made a small ratio that 100 divisions equals to 0 0.1 millimeter, 23 divisions equal to question mark, and then we just cross multiply them. And we end up with this over here, and answer is 23. Therefore, the answer is going to be B. So state what is meant by the term magnification. So how many times how many how many times an object appears bigger in an image than it does in real life? Again, you can word it out however you want. Just memorize it, okay? So, the diagram shows a germinating pollen grain, as we can see over here. We have a generative nucleus and a tube nucleus, okay? So, at, um, the question is asking us to describe the roles of the tube nucleus and the generative nucleus. So, the tube nucleus, which is right over here, it controls the growth of the pollen tube. It also controls the production of digestive enzymes. And it also allows the male nucleus to enter and reach the female ovary. That's 
the role of the tube nucleus, okay? The tube nucleus does not fuse or fertilize with the um, ovary. No, instead, that is the generative nucleus. So here, as we can see, so the generative nucleus, it divides and forms two male haploid nuclei. And one of these nuclei, it fertilizes with the egg cells. So it fertilizes with the egg cells nucleus and the other fertilizes with the polar nucleus. Um, today is 12, so you have 13, 14. Okay, so you got two days. Okay, well, good luck with your exam. Um, I'm going to post the rest of the questions soon. But for now, this is all I'm going to be posting. Good luck with your exam. Um, go through past papers, just like understand how to answer questions. And go through your notes. I go over to the points which are, you know, uh, just go through the chapters or like the topics which you aren't the most confident in. And don't worry, you'll do well. And it'll go well. Yeah, thank you so much. Take care of yourself, guys. Bye.